What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So in this series uh, called The Giggle Lack, I'm basically taking all my viewers that watch my live streams and I force them to do the exact same farm so we can get a lot of data in just one hour because you guys are probably familiar with my series here on YouTube called Loot from 100 Runs. That takes me like 10 hours to get loot from 100 runs of a dungeon. Now, if I invite all of my viewers to do the exact same thing, we can uh, do like 5 to 7x that in just one hour. So if you guys want to join in, every single Saturday I live stream on Twitch TV, and everyone, doesn't matter if you play NA or if you play on EU, can join in on the competition on whatever farm that we do. And this Saturday, we did Iron Docks. Now, the reason why you want to do Iron Docks is, well, there's plenty. If you have, uh, like, the trading post level 2 in your garrison, you get the the, uh, the auction house modules that you can sell in the auction house, um, and they tend to bring in a decent amount of gold. You get a bunch of unique appearance green items, blue items, and the holy grail the epic items so the best epic items you can get from iron docks is the black rock bulwark which looks like the shield from um black temple ish but it has different colors it's like an hd version of that and it has a really high price and then also the ashila's adorned waist guard which i've sold plenty of uh that's also like half a million gold now last time i did loot from 100 runs of me running iron duck solo i got both these items in 100 runs so my expectations for when we started loot from 100 runs uh i mean when we did the gigalac uh, as you can see it taken from the stream right here was massive because we had like roughly 70 like i think we peaked at like 73 or 74 people running iron docks at the same time which means that when the time was up uh, we should have loot from uh, over 700 runs of iron docks which is insane so you can see already a couple of minutes in people are starting to pick up some blue items and uh like you got to take uh pay close attention to these blue items because there's some blue items that are really good and they don't share appearance with any other items but there's also going to be a couple of blue items that shares appearance with a ton of other items in the game and they're not going to be worth a lot of gold so instead of putting the timer on one hour we put it at 45 minutes which is uh it's more than you need it's a very very short dungeon but we put it at 45 minutes so we can make sure that people running it even without speed set, uh, maybe on a, a slow mobility class, could still finish off their uh, loot from 100 runs. Now, at this point in the lack, like 5-6 minutes in, you can see that there's just filled up with blue items. Some of them were good, some of them are bad. And there's even some epic items at this point. However, they're bad. They're like trinkets and necklaces, uh, and they don't have a high enough value to pop up on the, the most valuable list right here. Um, and then there's another 200k item, which is the, uh, the sword on a stick, which is a unique item, a really good blue item, but it's not the items that we want to see. It's, there's nothing uh, interesting so far. No Blackrock Bulwarks, no Ashilas. But uh, at this point, we're still, everyone is still really excited because 700 runs, you're bound to see something really good. However, if I like fast forward to the point where there's um, like five minutes left of the loot appraiser, you can see that there's only like a fake value ring, the RU's puzzle ring. The tree cleaver that Marshmallow got is actually pretty damn good. Uh, same with the Cane of Command. However, <laughs> we did over 700 runs and we didn't get any good epic items. There was like some leather shoulders and some cloaks and just bullshit. But we did not get a single Blackrock Bulwark or a single Ashila's Waste Guard. So that's just the, the transparent side of gold making when you're dealing with transmog. Like the, uh, the RNG on something like this is massive. I mean, the results, the data, I could personally have done over 70 hours of Iron Dogs 
without seeing the shield or the belt. And that is the harsh truth with Transmog. I do, however, think that we got extremely unlucky because I've done a lot of Iron Dogs, like Loot from 100 Runs, and there's been a lot of my viewers that have been on my live stream for like seven years now that has done the runs alongside with me. And we have never, never, ever experienced uh, the horrible loot that we got this weekend. So that kind of sucked. Uh, this is actually the second time we've done like a Gigalac with not so impressive results. The last time I didn't upload the video, uh, but then I thought to myself like, shit, I got to show the, the bad and non-interesting loot that we get as well. Uh, to be transparent about how, how it all works. So the last time it was uh, Ulderman and nobody got a super item. So I was like, shit, there's no super item. There's no point in making a video. Um, but yeah, Iron Dogs, over 700 runs, no Blackrock Bulwark, no Ashila Waste Guard. Uh, that doesn't bring us down though. We're going to keep on doing it again this Saturday. Going to pick a new farm and hopefully we will get some really badass loot. So if you want to join in on that, click the link in the description and join my live stream. And a big thank you to every single one of you guys that has joined in on the VIP Discord lately. The, the support has been absolutely insane. It's pretty much like a uh, Patreon, but everything happens on the Discord server. So you get to watch all my YouTube videos before anyone else. But you also get a bunch of exclusive uh, gold making content, so like spreadsheets and investments and much more that you can only get on the VIP Discord. So really do appreciate it to all of you guys that have joined in lately. Absolutely insane. Uh, with that being said, though, that is pretty much it for today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all back in at tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.